Parents are speaking out tonight after learning that a levy that would have given the Monroe Local School District $2.5 million over the next five years did not pass. Nine News reporter Amy Wattis has more. They're cheering towards an unknown future at Monroe Local Schools. I'm devastated. I love the school. I love the district. And I'm very nervous about the effects that it's going to have on our community. One day after an emergency operating tax levy for the district was rejected by the voters. Mom of three Monroe students, Melissa Davis, is worried. I'm already hearing kids that are talking about going to other districts, and that breaks my heart. I've watched these kids grow up and play ball all these years and cheer together. The district lost the chance to generate $2.5 million over the next five years, which would have helped them get out of a fiscal emergency. Coming up just 79 votes short. I think that we need to uh, make sure that our parents and community members understand what happened uh, with the finances a little more clearly. The audit report is out and it indicates what actually happened in the district. The levy failure means more cuts to extracurricular activities and extra electives. We've cut back to almost minimum standards with our teaching staff. Uh, there will be no music, art, and physical education um, on a regular basis in our elementary and primary schools. And of course, the sports. Raising the cost to play sports and cutting transportation one way to games. I got to make sure I have enough parents to get our kids back or they can't go to the games. Superintendent Lawley says they'll continue to try and educate the public so they can make an informed decision come November when they hope to try again. In Monroe 49 News, I'm Amy Wattis.